Today we're gonna talk about people! What's up? So as I stated before in these videos, I do work in a retail store uh, and I am not gonna be saying the name of the store just because I don't think it's appropriate. Now I've been there in that store for a couple of years and I've seen so many things change. I've seen, you know, employees change, the store change, environment has changed, but something that does not change is reactions to certain things. So this little video is gonna be called Retailer Confessions. And today the main topic is gonna to be coupons. Now in my store, we give out a lot of coupons depending on if there's holidays, you know, big sales, or whatever the hell's going on. Sometimes they just give coupons just for the hell of it. You know, you can have a card fart and then you can just get a coupon just for the hell of it. Now, the coupons aren't bad per se. Like, honestly, I don't mind the coupons because the coupons work for us as well. What bothers me about the coupons is the people who come in the store begging for these things. One of my biggest problems is the fact that there's people who just come inside the store and they find out about the coupon that day and they just start begging like they like I've seen people almost tear up over these freaking coupons. Sometimes you have that customer that will just come in, walk in, put down their stuff, and it'll be the most simplest transaction. It'll be like this. Hey, do you have any coupons? No, we don't today, I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. But then you have the people who will honestly just like beg you and harass you for the coupon, even though you've said no. Hi, do you have any coupons? No, not today, sorry. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Can you please check? I have checked, we don't have any right now. What about those over there? Those have already been used, meaning they're not gonna work. Are you sure they're not gonna work? Yes, they're not gonna work. Come on, can you please check? We have nothing right now. Come on. Do you not speak English? Please. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Ugh, whatever. Then you have the type of people who will come in, ask and beg for a coupon when they honestly don't really need it. What's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Yo, man, you got any coupons? No, not today, man, I'm sorry. We're in a recession, dog. Um, I understand that, but we don't have coupons today. You sure, man? Yes, man, I'm pretty freaking sure. All right, man, what's the damage? It's 1070 in total. Cool, cool. Recession my ass. Oh my god, I hate that shit with a passion. When people come in the store, coupon or no coupon, when they have a $10, $12, anything less than $20, and they pay for it with a fresh, crispy $100 bill. Then you have those people who will come in and they ask you for the coupon. Right, they legit, they come up to you, ask you for the coupon, and then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, let me check, because I may have gotten one in the mail. And that transaction goes a little like this. Hi, do you have any coupons today? No, not today, sorry. Give me a second, I think I might have one. Okay, um, let's see what we have here. Um, SpongeBob. Fantastic. Oh, I need that for later. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm sure I have something in here. Oh, watch. Okay, needs another ten. Uh, oh, race. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> ooh, some games. Uh, do you guys give these discounts for these? No, I guess not. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, oh fuck. Okay, um, let's see, uh, bubbles! Do you like bu- no, no? Okay, um, I guess not. Um, let's see, uh, ooh, tanning oil. I do gotta keep this, 
this beautiful skin going on. Um, let's see. Uh, a brush, brush, yes, a brush, okay. Um, a banana, you need your potassium. Oh, I know I have something in here. Um, oh, yes, mm, okay, but I don't need that right now. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, a mirror, yeah, okay. Oh, what the hell, this brush is thing. Okay, um, I know I have something in here. I don't even know what the fuck this is. That's a melon. Oh, what, what's this? Oh, God. Ugh. Do you happen to like music? Then, you have those people that come in they try to be all friendly with you, they try to be all cool with you, try to make small talk. Then they ask you for the coupon and then they have the balls and or vagina to fucking ask you for your discount. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Pretty good, how are you? A lot of work going on today? Uh, yeah, it's pretty busy around here. Stay, man. You guys got any discounts going on today? Nah, no, man, not today. I'm sorry. Come on, man. You sure? Yes, I'm pretty sure we don't have anything today. Hey, how about you let me use your discount? What? No. What's wrong with you? Come on, man. Let somebody else put it to good use. How about no? Come on, man. You sure? Yes, I am sure I can get fired. Alright, man. Fucker? Now the funny thing about those people is that every transaction goes the same way. They legit come up and ask you for your discount and they will try to make a joke out of it like if you really find it funny. And you, sometimes you just have to laugh at it so... You know, you don't start shit. <laughs> and then above all of that you get those beautiful people who don't have coupons, they ask for them. And then they bust out this beautiful little line that goes a little like this. I'm, I'm a loyal customer in the store, but I'm a loyal customer. Come on, man. I'm a loyal customer. And honestly, this is something I would just want to say. So it's half of the people that come and shop in this store. You guys think you're so privileged just because you have a credit card in this store. But honestly, half of the people who bring credit cards to the store don't even use their own credit cards. And half of the people who bring coupons to the store don't even use their own coupons. You guys are not special whatsoever. You guys are just another threat of bullshit in this building. You guys are shit. But I don't say that because I know better and they would end up doing this. Uh, I need to see your manager. Yo, dog, let me get your manager. Hey, man, let me see your manager. But in an alternate world, this would be my response to that. Here's my manager. Go fuck yourself. Have a great day. So yes, then that's basically the power that coupons have over people. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys liked the first installment of Retailer Confessions. If you did like the video, as always, please like, subscribe, share with your homies, share it on your media pages. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Alex. Thanks for chopping it up with me, and I'll see you next time.